so you all want to know how it's all going to end. It happened on Mars, it happened on the moon, and now, billions of years later, it looks like our world is on death row too. Earth should be the next planet to experience freezing of its core, turning our world into an empty, lifeless chunk of rock, quite much like Mars. As you know, our planet is filled with a super hot fluid, much like a Belgian chocolate. When volcanoes erupt, they spew out the liquid, it's called magma. Even deeper in the Earth's core, there should be a massive searing ocean of molten metal sloshing about. The core of the Earth is made of liquid iron peppered with liquid nickel. Now really, we don't like volcanoes and earthquakes and all that any more than you do, but still, we should consider ourselves lucky to have all this molten stuff under our feet. Without it, we would have no land to live on. The magma constantly replenishes the land. It boils up from the Atlantic Ocean, freezes, and thus constantly adds rock and soil to the world. Just think of it. Every mountain you see, every piece of stone you pick up, it was all once liquid. Liquid magma. But there's trouble ahead. Very slowly, the earth is cooling down from the outside in, much like an oven dish placed in the refrigerator. The Earth is freezing. In the end, the Earth's core will no longer be liquid, but solid. Our planet's restless bowels will calm down forever. The first thing you'll notice is less volcanoes, less earthquakes. Hey, that's fun, but it's just the beginning. Slowly, wind and rain will begin to erode the Earth away. Very gradually, mountains will shrink. Grain by grain, they will crumble down and get washed away by rain and rivers into the sea. It will take hundreds and millions of years. That's the good news. But the bad news is that in the end, there will be no more land left. It's a bit strange to imagine. But when you level out all the land evenly across the globe, smear it on, out onto the bottom of the sea, you would find nothing will be sticking out of the water. No continents, no rocks, no islands, not even a sandbank. All that will be gone forever. It's okay, you decide to live on some kind of ship from now on. With many millions of years ahead, there's plenty of time to build some sort of super arc. But wait, next thing you know, the deeper liquid metal core starts to freeze up too. That means the Earth's magnetic field will weaken and go out forever. Now that really brings out the beast. As we explained elsewhere, on the, elsewhere, no magnetic field means no protection against space radiation. We have more cancers, we'll have more blackouts, but that's not the big issue. The worst part is our atmosphere will begin to vanish. Very slowly, molecule by molecule, the stuff we call air will be lost into space. It's the solar wind doing this, my friends. Without a magnetic field, the stream of particles coming from the sun can, quite, can quietly eat away at the atmosphere. The atmosphere will literally be blown away. Direction, deep space. According to some researchers, this is exactly what ha happened on Mars a few billion years ago. Mars is much smaller than our planet, but accordingly, it froze up sooner. Scientists believe this was what killed Mars. With its magnetic field down, the sun could blow away Mars' early atmosphere. After a few hundred millions of years, it was gone. Hey, but Mars has this other thingy too. It has no liquid water. Well, the same lies in store for our planet. With no atmosphere, there is no air pressure to hold down the water. All the water would simply vanish into thin air, literally. So imagine it, you're sitting on your ark, wearing a spacesuit, when suddenly a hoy, land in sight. But pretty soon after that, you'll find the land is about the only thing left. Oceans become lakes, and lakes become ponds. In the end, the ponds evaporate too. Oh no, that's cool. Now you're without water too. We'll find ourselves on a kind of Mars the Second, a lifeless, airless, waterless, dead world with only some gullies and dried up riverbeds remaining from its more lively past. If that depresses you, there is this. The freezing of the core is quite inevitable. It isn't something speculative, it isn't a weird phenomenon. All experts agree this freeze up is indeed going to happen one day. Fortunately, you and I won't be there to tell the tale. We're looking at billions of years before the freezing really begins to show. Some two billion years. It is estimated. That's plenty of time to make a nice space suit for everybody on the planet. 